We are broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. And the mutant eaters have a proud history in the MFL of winning just about everything but the really big game that matters. And maybe that's why they have the same exact number of bars and churches. Hey, shut up and pass the pain and pots, huh? Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The micro hard mutilators face off against the purple mutant eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones. Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. down and 10. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of it in that one. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. Oh. He's coming out in the field now. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice. And that's why they call it the money shot. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. It was a risky throw, and the defense made him pay. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. A nice pickup for six yards. And 
And that'll be second down and four. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third and four. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. <laughs> Second down in a lot. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Second down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. The kicker should make this, but... You know how it goes in this league. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more reception. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down and seven. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful head, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second. 
second down and more than the QB would like. Nice pass. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! <laughs> And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Oh, that was a snooze fest. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and long. And the defense goes for the juggler. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead! Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. First down and nine. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Second down and four. Third down and five. Good thing they don't touch down. Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. But with kickers, you never know. It's good. <laughs> kind of kick is when it's right after score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! for nine on that play. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's how you run the football. First down. And 
and it's first and ten. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. Get that line the way a Republican Congress. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. It's first and ten. Second down in a lot. It's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Third down and five. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. I want Sean Kicker to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can... Oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on first. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Third down and long. Time to see if this is an elite kicker. Can he kick through a cement wall? Yeah, probably not, Bricks. Then he's not elite. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. He's not going down. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Well, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. 
They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Welcome to McBride Rage. How can I help you? And it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now what day is it the QB saves some clock by calling a timeout they have one left and it's first and ten oh and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit yeah, it sounds like my own and that's it that's the last time out it's score or die from here out Second down and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty dudes on the defensive line. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. It's first and ten. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Put the buzz saw in the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsanto Industries. They make the better place by making the government tell you it is. quarter about to begin here and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat i was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when bricks started farting like a fourth of july fireworks finale here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them he sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. 
Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. This guy's a brick shit house. First and ten. And that'll be a first down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Baby, no, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Yeah, he just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? And they're catching up. Joke, job, go shopping. Bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number. Three plays! Talk about luck! The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! First and four. Tired of the quarterback's tight spot. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fu 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 fuck? Yeah. 
The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First down and less than a yard. Oh, this is Daddy. Ah, another interception. He should give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect him. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Oh, so close, but not today. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First and two. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First down and one. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And they come to the line trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate on this sideline. And they run it in for two points. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about And the Purple Mutant Eaters just remain the competition today and deliver their home team fans a forfeit. Ah, Grim, some of the defensive Mutant Eater players are snacking on the left of a body part. Why do you think they're called the Purple Mutant Eaters, you idiot? There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, I don't know how about it. Can shut the hell up right now. We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Hey, man, I was hitting on the middle now. You know what happened? Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.